I'm gonna start with the lowest one because that is the easiest one. So let's just type 9999. And it places it down here. Then we want the next one to be maybe not 99, but about 95. <laughs> That's very precise. That's fine. Then this one should be on the middle joint. Yes. Actually, now that I come to think out of it, I might have, I might, mm, I might should have added two more joints in the middle. But uh, for now, I'm just gonna keep it as this. It's not gonna make too much of a difference. So. That's kind of in the middle. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes. So what you're gonna do now is you're gonna make a joint, and you're gonna, uh, gonna call it rubber hose leg O1 joint. And you're gonna duplicate it, so you're gonna have nine joints. And you're going to rename them. Oops. And when you do this, you just basically have to um, parent all the joints to the follicles. If you want, you can rename the follicles as well, just to make it a bit easier. Um, so I'm gonna select this one. I'm gonna select the first follicle, press F, or P, sorry. I'm just gonna do that for every single follicle. And then, oops. And then you can see we got all our joints placed down here. I'm just gonna select them and make a bit and increase the radi radius. Um, if you select all these at um, translate, if you select all translate and you just press zero, it will automatically place it on top of your rubber hose. So now. If you're going to move this, you can see that the joints actually follow. And uh, this is a good thing, because now you can actually uh, use these joints to skin the... Um, what's it called? The leg? The mess of the leg. And uh, that's actually the last part of this tutorial. I'm not going to show skin, uh, paint skin weights yet. Um just because it's a bit tricky. Um now I can actually see a mistake I made because you got some attributes out here and you don't want that. So let me press mm. How did I get that? That's a bit weird. But uh, yeah, that's why we are actually. Um, but you don't want any uh, connections in here, and I know what the mistake is. So I'm just gonna delete this uh, parent control on the controller, parent constraint, sorry. And I'm gonna do the same thing 
for this one. Um, I'm not entirely sure why it has attributes. I think that's very weird. Anyway, I'm gonna duplicate this one, and I'm gonna call it instead of control. I'm gonna call it Ori for orientation. Um, I'm gonna delete the joint, and I'm gonna duplicate the top, the first one as well. And I'm gonna call this one Ori as well, and delete the joint. Um, so. The next step is to uh, delete the shape. Um, if I drag this out, you can see I got two circles right now. And I'm gonna go to display shapes. If I delete the shape now, I have an empty group. And if I then select the controller and place it in the orientation group, I will have um, the controller in it and the group above it. I'm gonna do the same thing for the lower one, it will make a bit more sense. That one, I'm gonna drag it down. And you can see the translate becomes 0, 0, 0 because now it's in the world of this one. And that makes a lot more sense. So now I got two groups, and these groups are the ones that I'm gonna parent to the joints um, to control it because then the the new translation will be in those joints, and the connection will be in those joints, uh, in those groups. Sorry, so you can still move the controller and make animation on it. If you've got a direct connection or a connection of some kind, then you can't make a set. Then you can make animation on it. Um, so I'm just gonna parent it. I'm sorry that it became a bit. Um, messy in the end but uh, now it should work yeah it works hallelujah and you can always tweak the screen skin weights on this one a bit if you don't like the bend and I must say this looks a bit weird so I might want to change that um, but otherwise it looks looking it's looking fine and one last thing is you want to use some color correction for um, for the controllers. Um, so if you select this one, normally you use uh, red or and blue for each side, um, and you can do that as well. Um, so if you select the foot controller, and if you're not in the shape but the real foot controller, you can go down to display, drawing overrides, enable override, and you can select the color. So let's say this is going to be blue. I'm going to do the same thing, enable override, blue. This is just because when the animator is going to animate on it, it's going to be easier to uh, see what is what actually there's also a script that uh, makes coloring much more easy yes that's it I am going to show the pants again and that wraps up this tutorial. I know that it was a bit messy in the end, but um, I'm quickly going to recap what we learned. We learned how to set up um, controllers, how to make the IK, how to set some custom attributes on uh, the lower part, and how to uh, make a pole vector, how it all should be connected to each other, and how to make some uh, rubber hose legs. So uh, that was basically it. If you want to follow the next part, you can go into my YouTube channel. Um, if you go down into Polyface, you can scroll down in the button. You can select YouTube. 
if you do that you're gonna come into the channel and you can see every video that I got I really recommend that you this is in Danish but it means um, subscribe of course you know YouTube and it's always subscribe but you should really subscribe because then you will see when the next video is coming out and that's a good thing because then you can keep following it and um, you don't want to miss this anyway I am done now and uh, I hope you enjoy enjoyed the tutorial if you got some feedback let me know my email is in is on the screen right now have fun bye